Hello everybody, welcome back to another one. Today we're going to be making a YouTube thumbnail using an app called Pixel Cut. I have done videos with Pixel Cut previously. Um, I'll link them in this description because we make different types of things. But to be fair, once you've made one and you've seen one of these videos, you can pretty much work the rest out for yourself. But I wanted to do YouTube thumbnails because I know it's something I get asked a lot. So basically what you want to do is when you get into the app, you want to click on the discover button at the bottom, type in YouTube thumbnail. It's going to bring up a few selections of different ones you can use. Uh, so what I'm going to go with today is let's go with, let's go with this one. Sometimes, it, because it's an internet-based app, it can take a, a little bit to uh, upload. Um, so you've got click to watch. We'll leave that on there because it's a call to action that we want. Um, first things first, let's, um, let's type in here, pixel cut tutorial, maybe something like that. Um, and then we'll just hit OK at the top, and tick button. And then we'll create a YouTube for that one. Obviously, we're going to need to resize that. So create a YouTube. And then under here, where we've got Adventure, we just click on Edit Text. And we're going to type in Thumbnail. Okay, I hit that, move that under there somewhere, make it a tiny bit smaller. And then over here, that's where we're going to want our sort of image. Um, now, what I'm going to do with this one is a little bit different. We're not really going to be doing the cutting out that we did before. So we're just going to replace the image. And we're going to click that. And I want that picture, but I don't want to cut it out. So we just literally click on it. And then we we create we put that there like that. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a thumbnail for this uh, video that I put up. So I'm going to put um, create a pro advert, right? And then I'm gonna in here. I'm gonna change that to for Instagram. Um, change that to that, and put that under there. We can move that letter in around if we wanted to, uh, but I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm just gonna make that a tiny bit bigger so you can see what it says. Okay. Now, the only thing I'm going to want to do now is just change this background image. Um, let's see. Um, what's the best way of doing that? If we go image, replace. According to this, you can add. Oh, no, you can't. I thought, I thought it was going to let me add movies then. I thought that was a new feature. Um, we're just going to go and search the word black. I want to keep this all black and white um, and then I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to find something slightly different to the background I've already used. Um, maybe this one with the stars. Something like that stands out. Um, let's just make that a bit bigger. And there you go. See? With these as well, uh, just so you know, um, to position them, that what you can do is you move these around and they will be on top of or underneath. So when I move that now, see, it's going to go underneath. Uh, so th that's just another thing to look out for. Uh, where it says click to watch, I might just make that a tiny bit bigger. And there you go. There's your YouTube thumbnail. Super easy. Jobs are good and um, really easy to make. Hit the save button, um, and then save it to your camera roll. Now I'm doing all of this on an iPad, 
so it'll look a little bit different for you um but when you open up your camera roll now oh when you open up your camera roll it should be sat in there it should be the last thing you created there you go thanks for watching guys again if you like this video please uh comment like the video subscribe to the channel it's a brand new channel bringing you lots of mobile editing tricks and tips my views on various different apps it's all going to help you out especially if you run a small business because that's predominantly who i work with customer base wise and uh, train them how to create a lot of content i'm giving all this information away for free so i just appreciate it if you just drop a little like that would really help me out thank you till the next one